Hello and welcome to another video. A video that only me and maybe my mother will ever see. Like all my other videos. Please, mom, subscribe to this video. I love you. Today, I'm going to talk about my toys. Not the toys I made, but the toys I buy. I think I buy more toys than I made. And I buy more toys, definitely, that I sell now. People love Sarfabula. Something that I wanted to show you is the different kind of toys that I like and that I want to not copy because I don't want to copy any kind of toys, but I can copy maybe some kind of um, styles and maybe uh, some way to do some kind of things. Not copy, inspire, of course, inspire, no copy. All right, um, in the beginning, uh, around 2004, I really like one kind of toys, one kind of... Today is a little bit boring for me. I'm going to get a lot of bad reviews here, but it doesn't matter. I think these kind of toys are a little bit boring right now, in 2023. Well, a little bit of boring, um, but I like it in 2004. Not right now. Um, and these kind of toys were the uh, American styles of toy, uh, are toys, are toys. It's a little bit boring right now because we have a lot of uh, different examples about new kind of toys that there are right now that are, are very different. And this is something that I like, that's something that I love because, well, you know, if you have more possibilities to make toys, you can make a lot of different kind of toys. Um, but not in 2004. 2004, there was a, very, a few artists and they made a few kind of toys. I will put that one here. Um, then everyone made the same kind of toys. Because only a few could make those kind of toys. This is the idea I had with my first toy, with Eggy. I think, I think I have Eggy. Yeah, Eggy. This is the kind of toy I had in mind when I created Eggy. Yeah, very round, a very simple, but cute kind of toy. The problem is that I discovered soon that out there in the wild are a few artists that are making the kind of toys that I really really love yeah, and I'm going to show you a few I have three examples for you I have two examples from Japan and one from America yeah, and all of these three examples are something that I would like to yeah well inspire me to create my own toys the first kind of toy I got it recently and it's a toy that uh, I discovered because I've been talking with the artists on Twitter and uh, I think on Instagram too. It's, it's one of the biggest, it's one of the, the the most newest artists in Japan and it's getting bigger and bigger and it's Mukoyama. I'm not sure if I pronounce your name, sorry if I pronounce your, your name wrongly. Um, well, your toys, your toys are very special for me because they have a lot of details. Here, here we have an example. Look at this. A lot of details. This kind of toy is, uh, well, an example of a toy made directly from the mind of the artist with all this. Well, yeah, look at this. With all of this. This is, this, is, this is a very, very good example of something that I would like to make. I would like to make toys with a lot of details, like this one. Yeah, something that is very special, something that you can see and say, this is a Mukoyama. This is a Mukoyama toy. I like it. I like it very much. This one is made uh, in 3D. It was created, if I'm not saying wrong, in a sea brush and then it was printed and made in Sofubi. This is made in Japan. 
Um, and a lot of modern artists and make it the same thing. I make it the same thing uh, in 3D and then printed and then uh, in Sofubi, like the traditional Sofubi, but not uh, making in the clay. Um, but 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 there is another kind of artist. It's, this is one of my favorite because he is. How do you say he's crazy? He's he's sorry, but you are crazy. Um, but but crazy in a way, in a good way. Don't take it wrong. You are a crazy good guy, and I love you, and I like you. Um, you you are you are you are. This artist is Pico Pico. A Pico Pico made the toys. From his imagination too, it's, it's incredible. But he makes it in clay, and then he produces the uh, prototype in wax, and then the Sofubi productions begin. But something that I love from Pico Pico is that that you you can see his different toys, uh, not just from Pico Pico brand, but maybe from uh, Max Toys Company and other for other um, companies and he has very different styles. You can see one of these toys he made for himself, for the Pico Pico brand and just, you can say how, how is this guy an artist? This is very simple and very easy to make. How, how is this possible? He is not good. Uh, but then you will understand his mind. Uh, if you see what he can really do when he does toys for other companies and for himself too, but for other companies, he put all his um, artistry in the toys he made them. So of course he is an incredible artist and he makes a lot of toys and a lot of kind of designs, a lot of different as very versatile kind of artists. This one is the one I love this kind of artist. He makes everything from their hands. Those. And with clay. And I have one of these. And I have the most incredible toy I could ever have. Uh, I think this one is very special because he makes toys. I don't even remember the name of this toy. Uh, I think you know better than me, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this one, oh, cute boy. I love this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy, this one, this one. I really love this one. Look at this. It's not so so complicated. It's not as detailed and complicated yeah, than, than the Mukoyama. It's simpler than the Mukoyama toy, but yeah, its features are incredible. And you can see Pico Pico's mind here. Here, look at this face. Here is a Pico Pico. Mine. Look at this tongue, this body, legs, and everything. The back. So you can see that this is a Pico Pico figure. And something that, is, that I really like with this, this figure, not all the Pico Picos, but just this figure, is that this is painted by him and by hand. With a brush, I think. You can see the strokes of the... You can see the details of the paint uh, he painted by hand by himself this one is a good good toy i would like to make in the future something like that i would like to put uh, the clay in the table and i would like to make these kind of toys but i think it's very difficult to to make um, i'm not this kind of artist i most well, sketch. I, I I have a lot of imagination. I put all these my toys in two Ds, and then I create the toys. But but this one, this one is is it's coming directly from his hands. This is the kind of toy that I like. There is another one that I really really love, and I have a special connection with this one because he is someone that has taught me a lot of things without talk to me. <laughs> yeah, I have talked with him a few times um, with a message or something like that, but I never talk with him uh, personally because he lives, I don't know, in, in the USA and I'm living here in, in Sweden. This artist is a Wonder Goblin. This one is one of the 
biggest and one of the most incredible pieces that I have, and the only the only one I have from Wonder Goblin. But but I really love this piece. Look at this. Look at this piece. This is incredible. Wonder Goblin. He made all the pieces also like Pico Pico. He makes with his hands clay and he makes also the wax and, and he makes, well, in the beginning he made everything, the prototype, the production, the toy, the clay, prototype, everything. But I think right now he makes until the wax prototype and then send the wax to uh, a fabric in, in Japan to make these toys. Wonder Goblin, if you are seeing this, please uh, write here uh, and correct me if I'm saying wrong. But uh, he makes everything by hand. And look at this. This is Wonder Goblin. I mean, Wonder Goblin, you are not this one, but I think you understand. I can see Wonder Goblin when I see this piece. As the same, I can see Pico Pico when I see this one. And then I can see also uh, Mukoyama when I see this one. These kind of toys are the ones that I really, really love. And of course, Pico Pico. Yes. Those, those kind of toys are the, the ones I really, really like. And those kind of toys are the ones that I want to concentrate my art on, inspire me to make more and more toys. Of course, I love I love Kors. I loved Kors. Um, was one of the first pieces I had, I ever had. Um, not, there's nothing wrong with this one, but I'm not sure what happened with Kors with uh, me. I think this one doesn't show Kors, doesn't show the the artist. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because I see Mickey Mouse, but nothing more. So I think I will. Sorry, sorry, please. But I think I'm going to say it. This... No, I'm not going to say it. You're going to kill me. I'm going to, I'm going to say it. If you don't like it, unsubscribe to this video. But I'm going to say, this is a toy without soul. And I'm going to be killed. Cause, please, send me a piece. I will pay for it. Sign it. I will have it in my collection. I love your pieces, especially the first pieces that you made. Those are one of the best pieces I've ever seen in my life. But not this course open edition made in China things. I know what you're doing. I'm in the same business. So, well, look, I'm going to be as sincere as possible. I want to make the new Art Fabula toys like Pico Pico, Wonder Goblin, Mukoyama. But I don't want to forget the past. I don't want to forget Eggy. I don't want to forget Captain Bebop. I don't want to forget the new toy I'm making. I can't forget it because it's coming in the future. You understand? So I don't want to forget my past. I love this kind of toys also. This kind of toys. It has something for me. It gives me something, it gives me some kind of peace when I see this, this, this. Not this one, for example, no, but Pico Pico doesn't give me peace. It makes me want to kill someone with cuteness. I will continue, I will try to make this kind of toys. I will try to make Art Fabula something new. I will try to put more of my craziness on my toys. And I think you, we'll see more and more and more uh, of these kind of toys, of these kind of inspirations that I got from a lot of people here. So please, be with me. Please, stay with me. Please, keep and support the art fabulous, and support the toys you like. Of course, and the artists, not just me, and the artists you like. But I need your help, I need your support, and give me, give me, give me, give me your <coughs> money. So, well, thank you very much for, for being here. Please tell me in the comments what kind of toys do you like? Do you like this kind of artistic toys with a lot of details like Mukoyama or Wonder Goblin? Or do you like something more aesthetics like 
well, course, or my own A toy. Tell me in the comments what kind of toys do you like. I think every kind of toy has a place in one's collection, in my collection at least. So please write in the comments, subscribe, and see you next week. Bye. Mukuyama. 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 Muku. Mukuyama. I like you. There is another kind of artist that I would like to, well, copy. I would like to copy you. I I think I will copy. No. I'm not going to copy you. I made them sides. You know, all this talk. Talk. Do you see? I'm, I'm a Spanish guy. I'm a Spanish guy. I move my hands when I talk. And I talk bad English. Uh, aesthetics. Like.